Hi, buddy. Dan John here from DanJohnUniversity.com. Uh, I'm just uh, been working in my in my gym, you know, nailing some things down with my hammer. <laughs> this is a Scottish Highland game hammer. It's the light one. We have a question from Little Kelton, and Little Kelton says this. He wants to know for Highland games what's the most important lift. So I, I have to tell you, my success as a Highland game athlete. Besides my superior looks, because man, Highland Gamers are an ugly group of, group of guys. One of the things that helped me the most is when I did the Highland Games, I had broken my wrist before I'd taken them really seriously. Why was that helpful? Well, after all those years of snatching and clean and jerking and bench pressing, uh, I was stuck with very, very few options as a Highland Games athlete. And the options I had before me were Basically front squats, holding the weight like this because I had a broken left wrist. And the other thing was heavy, heavy carries. Now you might say, well, why did that work? Because the Highland Games, which it is true, it is throwing, the, well, sometimes seven events, sometimes up to nine events. Uh, the, ones I, the ones I run, I guess we do the, the light stone, the brainer stone, the light hammer, the heavy hammer, the light weight, the heavy weight and the caber toss. So we just do the pure seven, which I think are the Highland games. The sheaf toss, get serious. Uh, I hate that event. I mean, I just hate it, but that's just me. But one of the things you'll find as a Highland game athlete is the most important thing you build up is pure work capacity. The ability to compete in 21 plus heavy throws in one day, which is why I think loaded carries like the farmer walk, and the bear hug carry are so important. If you get the cover of my book, never let go. I bear a bear hug carrying, dragging sled, and I think that exercise probably got me more prepared for the caber toss than all the other nonsense combined. Uh, so what I think the mistake most Highland game athletes make is they think that the answer is in the weight room, and that's not true. Highland game athletes are not heavy athletes, they are throwing athletes and throwers for them. I think every hour you spend tossing the medicine ball is better than an hour of bench press. Uh, a number of drills I like to use a lot uh, are simply just doing the events. Um, I just realized I really can't do the demonstration I wanted, but one of my favorite drills, and I hope it doesn't get too dangerous, is simply, and by the way, Kelvin, I am going to recommend that when you throw the the light and heavy implements. I saw your video before. I would suggest you get yourself back into a throwing stance instead of having that parallel stance like most people. Uh, I came up with that idea of throwers throw, man, that's how we should throw. But one of my favorite ways to trade for the Highland Games, and this is a terrible idea, but pretend these are going really fast around the orbit, is just take the heavy light hammers and then just swing them around. And you swing around 10 times and then you swing them around the other direction 10 times. You put it down, you rest, you do a farmer walk down and back, and you do this again. You can do that three or four times. And when you're finally to that place, you're, oh boy, when you've really built up this area here, which I like to call the calm, from the neck to the knees, when you're really gassed, then go do some extra throws. Uh, then pick up a, the, the heavier stone, and do some of your brain mark tosses. I suggest throwing with both hands, by the way, with the heavy tosses. Just, and you don't have to do a million up with the offside, but just enough to keep yourself, you know, working both ends. So let me just float this out to you, Kelton. So number one, Kelton, loaded carries, bear hug carries, sled pulls, and hill sprints. Doing a lot of drills with high reps, uh, 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 Mike and Mindy, as you recall, used to do the weight for distance exercise, but just kept repeating the turn. So they would spin, stop, spin, stop, spin, stop, and then get up to 50 reps. The biggest mistake I think most Highland Game athletes do is they don't throw enough. So first, I guess, throw more. Second, more loaded carries. Third, um, high rep drills with the implements. Fourth, 
Now we talk about the Olympic snatch, which I think is the most important, and I think the front squat, because Highland Games, Highland Games movements are done like this, not like this. Now, I know the power lifters out there are just all, you know, uh, what is that thing called, rectal prolapse themselves, uh, because, you know, they just lost their mind, because uh, a track and field athlete thinks that this is a better position to throw in than this. I think you just have to trust me on that. Um, front squats and the Olympic snatch. Though to be honest with you, the kettlebell snatch is really good for Highland gamers, especially those who do the weight over the bar in the classic style. <sighs> Cleans, if you're a good cleaner, clean. It is true the clean does help with the stone put more, the clean and press, the clean and jerk helps with the stone puts more. But that's only two of the basic seven events. The rest of the events are more discus-like. So, you know, Kelton, um, I can give you a thousand hours of explanation, but that's about as good as we're going to do today. Uh, I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com. I'm here to help. Thanks for your questions.